3 Commando Brigade have paraded through the streets of central London following their return from operations in Afghanistan. 120 members of the brigade march from Wellington Barracks to Westminster before meeting MPs in the Houses of Parliament. James Banks reports. Putting the people first was one of the key principles for 3 Commando Brigade on Operic 14. But as they prepared to march out of Wellington Barracks, the 120 strong parade were in no doubt that it was time for them to come first and for their hard work on a pivotal tour of Helmand to be recognised. There's been a number of achievements actually. Um, I think the biggest one is the suppression of the fighting season, the traditional summer time at which the insurgents come out um, and insert their malign influence over the locals and we've been able to stop that. Um, and doing so, we've created space for the Afghan security forces and the local government to flourish and develop. During their tour, the brigade oversaw the handover of Lashkar and experienced a 45% reduction in insurgent attacks against ISAF troops. I mean, in my area, we were able to transfer about a third of the checkpoints across to the Afghan security forces. Again, demonstrable progress that they're getting ready to take responsibility for their own security. Whilst 3 Commando Brigade might not be well known for their performance on the drill square, this was one parade they wouldn't forget. It's a big honour, you know, we're representing the army and, uh, and it's, it's, it's nice to show them that you know, we're back safe and sound. Yeah, it's exciting, it's, it's going to be a good day. I haven't been down here marching through the city before, uh, so it's a good experience. It's a nice change getting down to London uh, since we're based up in uh, Plymouth. I do enjoy coming down here, seeing the sights and uh, on the shoulders with all the hierarchy as well. By intimidating the surgeons by exploiting the night, three commando brigade dominated the ground, protected a community of almost half a million and strengthened relations with the Afghan security forces. Here on a blustery autumnal day in Westminster, however, they dominated the roads and commanded the respect of all who had turned out to see them. James Banks, Forces News, London.